So data, right, in its rawest form serves little value because insights cannot be easily drawn. This is where data analytics comes in. In this line of work, sometimes you'll come across the people who are trying to manipulate the public and it's up to us to stop them. I'm Jin Yi. I'm a data analyst at CSIT. A typical day at work involves coding, dashboarding, a discussion with project mates, meeting business users to understand their needs, and also providing support for analytical system. Hi, I'm Daniel Lee. I'm a senior principal engineer in the Information Program Centre in BSDA. So I tackle online misinformation and disinformation. For example, terrorist propaganda and fake content can be used to incite violence and to manipulate the public. So I developed the system to detect such threats online. So data analysis involves data wrangling and also presenting insights to help users glean useful information. Data analytics is used to identify trends, patterns and anomalies in data to drive operational decisions. So this enables various functions to work faster and more efficiently together. Network analytics can be used to quickly comb through large amounts of data and reveal the hidden relationships and structures within the noise. For example, when analyzing terrorist groups, using network analytics can allow you to identify the leaders, which will be difficult otherwise. Challenges range from managing varying user demands to tight deadlines and staying abreast with the latest industry trends. It constantly pushes myself to reevaluate the way I do things and also work on becoming a more effective data analyst. So many of the problems that we face in this job are first of its kind. There are no reference solutions to them. Sometimes you'll come across the people who are spreading terrorist propaganda, who are trying to manipulate the public, and it's up to us to develop the systems to stop them. So some of these problems are very tough and we need to collaborate with some of the best people in the world to tackle them together. So what I enjoy about my job is that I get to have autonomy in creating my solutions and also being able to connect with my colleagues on topics that I research on my work from home days. When I first started learning more about NLP, uh, Natural Language Processing, I actually realised that Markov assumption is used in language models. Uh, what a language model does is, given a sequence of words, predict the next word. How analytics was used in national security it was something that was very curious to me, which is why I decided to join TSIT. The job scope is very interesting and the SD is such that you can actually move from place to place. So I, I've not been working on just one thing alone and I've actually moved across like different departments and because the kind of like technology landscape is advancing so quickly, you get to learn different things as well. You don't get like a dull day here in DSD. You really get to try a lot of very cool stuff in DSDA that you probably would never try outside of, you know, this defense line. You get to do something meaningful and significant and you get to learn a lot of things through collaborations and learning from your colleagues. This whole package of things you will not be able to find outside of DSDA. So at CSIT, there are multiple training opportunities available and employees are free to pursue what they feel is beneficial to their career here. So if you have a strong interest in data, do join us to uncover valuable insights and adopt a data-driven approach for the sake of our nation's security. It's a truly exciting journey. 